is called the Valentine or sometimes referred to as the baby Valentine. I think of this move as a prerequisite for the buoy buoy bend. So if buoy buoy bend is something that is on your bucket list, I highly recommend you start with this one. So for this Valentine prerequisite, you definitely should be comfortable with an outside leg hang. You can invert up into it. You can drop down into it. Doesn't matter what your entrance is, but you should be very comfortable in your leg hang without using your hands, which means just by those holds of your skin contact, not by your hands. Okay, so for this one, we're gonna start in our outside leg hang. The entrance into this, like I said, from the outside leg hang, what we're trying to get, this is the part that's a little weird that might be kind of hard to see camera angle what's going on, is that inside leg, what's happening with that grip, when we're in a regular leg hang, that arm goes back and we have that like back of the shoulder grip, with this baby Valentine move, which then eventually crosses over into eventually the buoy buoy bend, is we're actually externally rotating that arm even more to the point where our elbow turns in. When we're in a regular leg hang, that hand is more of an internal rotation position. So we usually feel that contact of the pole, maybe a little bit like more eh, like armpit-ish or a bottom of the arm, more like tricep-ish. With this one, we're internally rotating, or I'm sorry, externally rotating. So we're feeling it more on the outside top of the arm. Okay, so regular leg hang, this one, more here. What that does is because of external rotation, now our elbow points back to us. And this is the really important part, especially eventually when you take this to the buoy bend, is that elbow's pointing in and we're wrapping and wedging ourselves onto the pole. It feels amazing. Okay, so from that outside leg hang, we're gonna first bring that inside leg around. We're gonna wrap that hand, thumb pointing down. Think about your elbow pointing inside. Then once you have a hold of the leg, then you're gonna push it back a little bit more to a traditional leg hang position, which then locks this in, okay? So starting from our leg hang. Find your outside leg hang. Outside hand, reach down, grab the pole. This hand can be in a grip with the thumb, no thumb in a cup grip, whichever you prefer, doesn't matter. Inside arm, reaching back. That leg comes around so we can reach up and grab, then externally rotate, 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 pull that leg back. Once that's locked in, you feel that arm, that top leg is going to slide out to the ankle for your Valentine here. Going back to your leg hang to exit. So that hold right there, like I said, you're gonna feel that grippy and that grippy. That gives that additional point of contact so that now our outside leg hang can go from our knee, keep pushing that leg into the pole while you slide it out to your ankle, okay? So it's not that you're just gonna willy-nilly take the leg off and put it back on, the whole time you're applying pressure. It's like you're giving yourself a deep tissue massage on the pole. As I'm at my knee, push, 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 sliding it along my calf until I get to my ankle. So the whole time you have that pressure pushing down with that top leg. For your bottom overhead arm, little tidbit here, depending on where you're at with your shoulder, range of motion, active flexibility. A lot of people, when they go to grab overhead, have a hard time grabbing the pole. Quite often, I find they do have the flexibility, they're just not directing their energy in the right place, okay? So when you get to that outside leg hang and you're reaching down, first, take that outside arm, reach towards the floor. Don't just let your arm hang. Reach like you dropped your pole grip or your pole towel on the ground and you're trying to reach as far as it's just out of reach. Really feel that elongation. Once you feel that elongation, bend your arm like you're checking your temperature. Oh, do I have a fever? Once you realize you don't have a fever, look at the pole and say, yes, it's okay to pull. And the pole quite often is right there, okay? This elongation is key. What tends to happen is when that shoulder is in the down position, we don't get quite the same range of motion, okay? So let's go over those components again. We've got three major things going on with that transition into the baby Valentine. We already have a leg hang established before we even started in on this. We've got that grab of the leg and then the leg circles back, locking this in, that outside arm grabbing, okay? And which order those two go in is totally up to you. You can do the arm first, you can do the leg first, doesn't matter, they can go at the same time. There's no right or wrong on that. But the last thing to go is that top leg starting to transition from the knee to the ankle, okay? So once again, 
leg hang, hand grab, arm reach back, circle that leg so you can grab your inner thigh as much as you can. See how my fingers are sticking up? Then push the leg back so you feel that elbow pushing to your side. If it feels comfortable-ish, take it to that ankle. And then when you're ready to come out, bringing it back to a leg hang or whatever shape you want to. So that is the Valentine or baby Valentine. Honestly, I'm not sure what the difference is between the two. If anyone would like to explain that to me, please, I welcome that. Drop that in the comments below because I've seen this called the Valentine. I've seen this called the baby Valentine. I don't know about you, but I have a hard time keeping track of all the names sometimes. So try this one out. Let me know how it goes. Put it in a combo. Do it by itself for a photo shoot. Wear red for Valentine's Day. Wear black to revolt. I don't care. Do you, boo. Have fun doing it. Let me know how it goes.